What's up, guys? Pep Man, Matt Morrow here, Carolina Varsity, bringing you my players of the week for uh, last week's action. Um, I attended the West Mech and Audrey Kill football game. Great game won by West Mech. 47 to 35, a lot of uh, big plays, a lot of action. If you didn't see any of that, you can check out my YouTube channel. Um, there's some highlights there. Also on Twitter, I have most of the first half on Periscope. Um, I, it would be worth watching if you're a fan of one of those teams or a fan of offensive football. That's there were a lot of big plays made in that game. Uh, as a result, I've got uh, several players I want to recognize. Uh, first off, Jalen Irwin had a huge game for Audrey Kill. Um, I don't have the stats on him. But he had, gosh, so many um, big catches, especially on third downs to keep the chains moving. Um, big catches down the field, uh, a couple touchdown receptions. Uh, we all know he's the go-to guy for RJ Kell, and um, he stepped up in a major way. It was very impressive and a joy to uh, watch him play that game. Uh, Cade McDonald um, really was the star of the, the beginning of the game. He uh, recovered the uh, squib kick to the uh, R.J. Kell sideline, and then on that first play after that, first play from scrimmage, actually, R.J. Kell went play action, and he scored on a touchdown pass. Um, so he really got the game going in a big way uh, for R.J. Kell. He's one of the captains, along with Jalen Irwin. He's also a captain for that team. Uh, I also want to sh uh, shout out Luke Hefferly. He threw the ball 50 times, and um, that, that's a lot of, of passing in a football game. He had several big throws in that game, and, um, you know, he's only a junior, so he's only going to get better. With them, so many senior quarterbacks in the area, I think he's going to be um, probably one of the top quarterbacks um, next year, definitely on his way. You know, he um, showed off his talents in this football game, putting up 35 points and a bunch of yardage. Uh, for West Mech, I got four guys. Uh, Richard Latimer threw for over 400 yards, uh, six touchdown passes in that football game. We did an interview with him after the game. Um, I'll, I enjoy talking to this young man. Um, very proud of his talents, and um, you know, proud of what he of what he's accomplishing over at West Mac, putting them on the map. Uh, check out that interview on my YouTube channel if you haven't seen it yet. Um, also, both of the Brown brothers definitely players of the game. Uh, Deami Brown had to play of the game. The 91-yard uh, pick six in the middle of the fourth quarter that really flipped the game. Gave Westmick a two-touchdown lead um, that they wouldn't relinquish. He had uh, a couple of, of other touchdown uh, receptions from uh, Richard Latimer. And his younger brother, Coffee Brown, a lot of people are calling this kid the fastest kid in the state. And after what I've seen, I... I really <laughs> tend to agree with that um this kid made um a couple of big plays especially i remember one in particular uh, rj gill had just scored um to take the lead um, i think a one touchdown lead and then west Met came back on the first play and hit him down the middle for 80 yards and i mean it would, he just makes it look so easy on these uh um, big touchdown receptions and big plays that he gets um very impressive for those Brown brothers at West Mech. And I um, also have to shout out this kid, um, Zaire Jasper. Um, he, he's one of the big linemen for West Mech. And, you know, this kid goes both ways. And we talked to him in the preseason. And um, <laughs> one of the things he said was he's got a nasty streak that comes out. And um, during the, during he's a nice guy before the game. But when the game, you know, gets on, he's got a nasty streak that comes out. And, um, you know, he was one of the main guys on that offensive line really getting it done, getting, giving uh, Richard Latimer time to throw the ball to those uh, fast guys on the outside. And um, I have to tell you, man, it's so impressive. To, to go empty and spread and to be able to throw the football um, consistently down the field takes a special um, offensive line to get that done. And they certainly did that over at West Mech, so... Thank you to all of those guys um, for your performance in that football game. It was a pleasure watching you, and um, I look forward to seeing um, more success from our, both RJ Kell and uh, Wes Mech um, later on this season. Um, also want to shout out, we got some nominations. Um, we only got, I, well, for me, I only got one um, group of nominations this time, and that was from uh, Mountain Island once again. Uh, Coach Robert Washington, he uh, nominated three guys. Um, senior, Taekwon Smooth Johnson. Uh, looks like he's a wide receiver. 
four catches for 202 yards and two touchdowns. Man, that is a 50-yard per catch average. I mean, you talk about a big play receiver. <laughs> That's a big play receiver right there. Uh, he's got to be pretty smooth to do that. Um, and he's a senior, and this one is a junior. It's like junior quarterback Kyle Holcomb. 8 of 15, 323 yards and three touchdowns. So he's averaging, what is that, almost um, 40 yards of completion there. Good gracious. Throwing the ball down the field, for real. And um, last one, Junior, C.J. Stephens had six tackles, one interception, and that interception was a 90-yard pick six touchdown. So, Mountain Island, once again, uh, getting it done. Thanks to Coach Washington for sending those in. Um, Dale has some more nominations on his side once he does his part of the video. But um, that's what we got this week. Um, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it. Please send in more nominations. Uh, we'd love to recognize everyone that did a good job in Friday Night Football. Um, thanks a lot.